So, if you guys remember in elementary school, think back, after nap time, when you woke up, you guys probably did addition. And one thing that your teacher might have said, if they said 14 plus 21, probably one of the easier ways to look at adding this was not to write it horizontally, but to now write it as a vertical problem. Right? I'm just saying, this is 14 plus 21 equals, right? So then I said, oh, write it vertically, because then you can just add these, you can add your terms vertically, right? Yeah. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is the exact same thing. Chris, this is your second warning. Third warning, I'll, uh, I'll take action, OK? So here, what you're going to do is this exact same thing. Let's just make this vertical addition. Why do it horizontally? We can do it vertically. But the one important thing is, we can only make sure that we add terms that are the same. So when we add them up, we got to make sure that we're putting like terms under each other. So I'm just going to say plus 5x cubed minus 6x squared minus 4x minus 1. Do you guys notice how vertically the terms are the same? Right? These both are x cubed. These are both x squared. These both are x's. These both are numbers. So let's just add them up. 5x cubed plus, or sorry, 3x cubed plus 5x cubed, 8x cubed. 2x squared plus a negative 4x, negative 6x squared is a negative 4x squared. Negative x plus a negative x, negative 5x. And 3 plus a negative 1, plus 2. Good. See? Now I got you. Now I got you hooked. Because just wait. Now I'm going to make it a little simpler, or a little harder. 